Hey guys, as you know, I'm getting ready to tackle an IMS uh, bearing replacement on my 3.2 liter box motor. And one of the things you need to have is a cam locking tool to hold the cams in place. Uh, my brother-in-law and I decided this weekend we'd go ahead and make our own. We had some spare time and he had some scrap eighth, uh, one eighth inch um, sheet uh, plates around. So we went ahead and found a diagram online that gave us the measurements to pull this off. So here Jimmy is cutting out a rough diagram and then from there we started to lay out the different angles and cuts that we were going to need on that plate. And again that's a 1 8 inch plate or about 4 millimeters thick worth of plate. So little by little he measured out each part of the dimensions that we needed and keep in mind Jimmy is a great guy but did not wear any gloves or safety equipment you guys wear safety equipment be safe out there uh, Jimmy's just a um, one of the old school guys that just does it this way so at home you know wear some uh, protection when you're cutting and uh, sanding down these items don't want you guys getting hurt out there so back to getting the tool done uh, you can go to, uh, I believe it's uh, Burner's Cars blog, and Ben has a great PDF of the dimensions and layout of the cam tool if you guys want to build your own at home. You can also buy your own from Ellen Engineering. They have it in a kit that you guys can buy, which is a pretty cool kit as well. But we uh, had a weekend free and some scrap metal laying around, so Jimmy and I decided to tackle this project on our own. It wasn't really that hard of a project. Um, it's just a matter of measuring and making marks on the metal and then taking a grinder and making those cuts to, uh, to spec. It took us about 35, 40 minutes, I would say, to uh, make the precision cuts that you needed to either lock the cam tool or the cam down and then to be able to bring the tool up and screw it down onto the case. Um, not hard at all. Uh, again, if you don't have any scrap metal laying around and you don't have these kind of tools, your best bet is probably to go ahead and just buy one. But we decided to tackle it, to have some fun and hang out, and uh, have a few beers. Once we made the cuts that we needed to get this tool into place on the head, the other part of it, you have to make the one section of it about half of the thickness of the other end. So it goes from about eight or four, eight, uh, eighth of an inch or, or four millimeters down to two millimeters on the other side. So Jimmy just simply started grinding down that part until he got it down to about that two millimeter thickness. And as you can see, here it is, it matches up. And then we went ahead and did the hole based upon the actual placement on the car itself. So we did that off camera. All right, that's it guys. Thanks so much for checking us out and we'll see you soon. Have a good one.